Okay. This better be good. I was in the middle of a racquetball game when I got your message. I was killing Dennis Taylor, and I get a chance to finish him off because of you. You look like hell. I can't look as bad as I feel. Why? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, my God. Did something happen to Vanessa and the baby? No, Vanessa and the baby, they're fine. Nothing's wrong mm. with them. Okay. So what's the deal? No, I don't want to lay this on. You know what? I don't want to do this because oh, you've got enough problems. Don't as give it me is. the usual preamble. Just lay it on. All right. You're not going to believe this, but Abby's going to accept that plea bargain. What? Manslaughter. That's three to five years in prison, 18 months for good behavior. 18 months? Did you, did you try to talk her out of it? Stupid question. I feel like... I don't know, I don't know what to do. I, I feel like I'm, I'm losing her. I feel like I'm never going to see her again. Move. Eventually. Now. I'm not through with you yet. <laughs> I said I'm not through with you yet, Sheriff. Share the joke. Uh, you're the joke. Are you a macho guy? You think I'm kidding? I think you're a kid. You always Do have been. Does this feel like a kid? Feels like a big bully. What, are you afraid I'm gonna hurt you? It wouldn't be the first time. I never laid a hand on you. Except, of course, when we were making love. Then you not even wanted me to stop touching you, did you? I want you to stop touching me now. Come on, Cass. Don't you remember how good it used to be? Unfortunately, I remember everything. Including the sweet music we used to make? That tune went sour a long time ago. So kill me, Cass. What kind of music do you and Hart Jessup make, huh? I'm not gonna discuss Hart with you. That bad. Compared to you? Hearts Beethoven, Bach, and Brahm rolled into one. <sighs> well, don't you ever yearn for a little rock and roll? I'm gonna turn you into a soprano if you don't get your hands off me. All I want you to do is be honest, Cass. You were crazy about me. Okay. I faint at the sight of you. Are you satisfied? The question is, are you? Cass, we're two of a kind. Always have been, always will be. And you know that, don't you? In your dreams, Rob. And nobody, <laughs> especially some little farm boy like Hart Jessup, is going to change that. And you know that, don't you? are off well, yeah. the whole building. I think there must have been a power outage. Or you know, maybe we should get you off to the hospital. No yeah. hospital. Are you sure? I'm just a little dizzy. I'll be fine. What happened to him? Uh, I hit him. You what? I hit him. I hit him with, with this. Oh my God! I'm, I'm, Reva, I couldn't see. It was dark. I, 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 I thought that. You thought what? That he was Annie. Reva, I, how many times have I told you Joshua, you've got to get over this please. obsession you had with Annie, and I asked you to get rid of that guy? You I know. Killed him. I wasn't this is exactly shoot. what I was afraid of that might happen. Josh, Reba, you don't know what you're doing with that thing. You could have put a bullet in him. It was partly my fault. I shouldn't have walked in here in the dark uh, without saying anything. I know what I did was wrong. I know that. And I am so sorry, Hart. I, I am so sorry. I really am. But what if it had been Annie? It wasn't Annie. It was Hart. You could have killed him. Don't. Don't say that again, please. This whole thing just has me a little jumpy. 
And I am sorry, Hart. I, I, I don't know how I can say that. I accept your apology. I, I, I don't know how I'm going to explain this to Cassie. You know, if there was ever any doubt that you two were sisters, you put that to rest. You know, they're a little high strung, these two. You Josh. got that right. I know I made a mistake. I, I admit that. I, 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 it was a mistake. And somehow I will find a way to make this up to you. Well, I you swear. can start by giving me back my father's gun. Reva. Give me the gun right now. Not until they find Annie. got there. Another piece of the puzzle. Uh, uh, which is what? Michelle's ID bracelet. I found it. Where? Right outside my house when I got back from the hospital. I saw it all over some guy and I, I did something kind of stupid. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I'm, I'm a little confused here. Michelle came back? Yeah. And, and you didn't talk to her? You didn't, after all this time? And, no. You, why not? I didn't get the chance. I'm I'm a little lost here. You were here, she was here, and... I think and, she came by my place, but I had a friend over. Oh. Drew, and I think she saw me with her. Oh. oh and we were kind of involved. Oh. oh. Well, I'm no longer confused. I don't know, but it's not like I, what you think. I'm. Mean, we weren't. We had a few drinks, and then, yeah, we... I didn't get pictures. No, 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 I don't think you do. I don't? What am I missing here? Look, Andrew, we, we did make out, but... I did it to forget about Michelle. You made out, um, uh, how, how far? No, know? no, no. She, she made me stop. Well, she didn't want me to stop. She wanted me to make love to her. But I could. She's not Michelle. You didn't tell her that. I didn't tell her anything. But you turned her down. She got the picture. W women don't understand that, you know. I mean, you, you know, nobody does. <laughs> Well, you got me feeling guilty. Well, I... You know what I felt guilty about? I said I was cheating on Michelle. But I didn't. You know? I was hanging out with a beautiful girl, that's all. She moved on, why can't I? Well, because you love her. Yeah, but she doesn't care. Look, finding her's gotten me in, in nothing but trouble. Well, it looks like I got a little more. Uh, well, I got some chili, you know, that's um, simmering in Jesse. Hey, Drew. I'm on a pie run for Nola. What are you doing here? I was actually just on my way out. I know you're probably upset with Jesse, me. wait. Look, Drew, there's nothing left to be said between us, OK? Uh, like I said, I'm sorry, but now you know I'm not the right guy for you. Don't be so sure. I've been going over everything that happened last night, and I was wrong. I think I should give you another chance. In the first place, you're not going to...